Chronic Hepatitis B. It's called the silent killer and it affects millions of people around the world. Asian Americans have the highest rate of this disease with one in ten affected. Many will eventually die of liver disease without treatment. But we have a way to bring this silent killer out of the shadows. We can get educated, we can get tested, and we can join the fight against chronic hepatitis B. This presentation is designed to help you understand chronic hepatitis B and its treatment options. So, let's get started by learning more about the disease. Hepatitis B is caused by a virus that attacks your liver. Hepatitis literally means inflammation of the liver. This inflammation can be the result of an infection caused by the virus. Although chronic hepatitis B is the world's most common serious liver infection, you can't catch it like the common cold. The virus is spread through contact with infected blood or bodily fluids, such as what may happen if you share toothbrushes or razors. Many children are infected at birth by their mothers. Most typically, however, hepatitis B is spread through unprotected sex or injection drug use. Now that we understand the disease basics, let's talk more specifically about its symptoms. You may experience nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and abdominal pain or you may be among the 30 percent of people who do not have any symptoms when they're infected. So with some people not experiencing symptoms, it's important to understand the risk factors for hepatitis B. People with an increased risk include Asian Pacific Islanders, particularly recent immigrants from China, Korea, and Vietnam. Also at risk are people who have had multiple sex partners, injection drug users, healthcare and public safety workers, and finally, people who live in the same household as someone with hepatitis B. Once infected, there are two types of infection, acute and chronic. For the first six months, the infection is considered short-term or acute. If the virus remains in your blood longer, then the infection is considered long-term or chronic. This type of infection is a lifelong condition that usually requires treatment to prevent more damage to the liver. It's important to seek treatment because the damage to your liver can cause serious problems, which we'll talk about next. Your liver is the largest and perhaps the most complex organ inside your body. It's located in the upper right portion of your abdomen right below your lungs. An infection in your liver is dangerous because your liver has many important functions. First, it serves as the body's chemical factory, making things like bile that help with digesting your food. Next, the liver serves as the body's storage place for vitamins, iron, and reserve energy. And last but not least, the liver is the body's filter for harmful or toxic substances. Without it, these bad things can build up in your blood, making you very sick. If you do not treat chronic hepatitis B, the infection can lead to a condition called cirrhosis of the liver. Cirrhosis is the destruction of normal liver tissue. Hardened scars are left behind, which prevent blood from freely flowing through the liver. Often, cirrhosis is merely setting the stage for liver cancer. Chronic hepatitis B is the leading cause of liver cancer worldwide, which is why people who have the virus must be checked regularly for cancer. When you test positive for the hepatitis B virus, your doctor will likely order more tests to check the health of your liver. It's important that you see your doctor often to watch for any problems with your liver, to determine if treatment is necessary, and to see how well your treatment is working. Your doctor may use a variety of tests to check your liver and monitor the virus in your body. One test your doctor may use measures the amount of virus in your blood, also known as your viral load. This test is called the HBV DNA test. 
Another test, commonly referred to as ALT, looks for active liver inflammation. And finally, your doctor may take a sample of your liver tissue through a liver biopsy. This test helps determine if there is current liver damage or inflammation. Using the information from these tests, your doctor will decide what treatment is right for you. Your doctor may determine that medication is needed if your tests show a high viral load, signs of liver damage, or if you're at risk for liver damage. You may not feel sick, but it's important to get treated if your doctor recommends it. The earlier you treat the disease, the more likely you will stay healthy longer. While there is no cure for chronic hepatitis B, there are two types of treatment to help. The first is antiviral drugs. There are several types available to help prevent the virus from growing or reproducing in your body. The second is a drug called interferon. Interferon helps strengthen your body's own defenses against the virus. Whether you are taking medication or not, there are things you can do to help keep your liver healthy. These include eating a healthy diet, getting enough sleep, and avoiding things that may harm your liver, like alcohol, drugs, and some herbal medicines. Of course, seeing your doctor at least every 6 to 12 months is also part of taking care of yourself. Only through your doctor can you really know how the virus is affecting your liver and detect liver cancer. There are several things you can do to help stop this silent killer. You can start with learning more about the disease and how to prevent the spread of the virus. In fact, you can join the fight against chronic hepatitis B by becoming a Hep B warrior. This takes no special skills, just a willingness to talk about the disease every chance you get. The more people talk, the more people will get tested and vaccinated. To learn more about becoming a Hep B warrior, visit www.stophepb.com today. People with chronic hepatitis B can live a long, healthy life if they take good care of themselves and see their doctor regularly. There are also patient support programs for people living with chronic hepatitis B. These programs provide practical tips, tools, and information to help you stay on track for good health. You're not alone, so be sure to ask your doctor about free programs available for you, including the Your Liver, Your Health Patient Support Program. To learn more, visit www.yourliveryourhealth.com today.